Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. For this Friday episode, Bob TV, we do the weekend here. That's not me. Every day's your work day to me. <laughs> Every day's just another work day. Alright guys, let's get a plaster made laid up right quick. fuel tank last night. Bam, okay, I got that one all glued together. Now I laid me up another half with this flange. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it to the bottom of here. Bam, okay, there's a tank and a half of fuel. And I'm going to lay me up one more I'm gonna glue it down there. Bam! Smoke wall. And before I glue them together, I think these are these ain't gonna leak. You can tell the nice shiny coating. Two layers of Kevlar layer of six ounce. It, I'm pretty, it ain't gonna leak. <laughs> but I'm going to submerge it in a sink of water and look for air bubbles. But I think it'll be just fine, but I want to do that before I glue this on. Now DreamWorks has some aluminum fittings. I think I'm going to order uh, that you glue in these tanks. That's what they're for, gluing in Kevlar tanks. And that's going to make all our fuel tanks one nice little contained unit. It's going to work splendid. Yes, but I gotta check this for leaks before it moves up. So I'm trying to get that done today. I'm gonna get these tanks laid up first. Oh, I got a full plate today. Oh, then my buddy, oh, Dave Phillips. You guys remember Dave Phillips from the Jet Meets? He goes to one well, of the same ones I go to. He goes to Kentucky Jets. And, and uh, best in the West. Uh, he's in town. And he's going to stop by the shop this afternoon. He's not going to visit from all day. Well, I go there. He's a guy that had that uh, twin engine F4. Just gorgeous. Just plain gorgeous. He had one at Kentucky Jets a couple years back. And they just put a set of them cheetahs in. And then, uh, ended up crashing that one. We go up to the new one. I videoed it at uh, Best in the West. You guys will recognize Dave when you see him. I like old Dave. He's one of the fun people. Dramaless, fun person. Dramaless. <laughs> Well, it's going to be good to see you, Dave. Okay, this is going to be my <clears throat> seamless version. I have no seam tape. That's going to be the last, and I'm just using six, two layers of six ounce cloth. That's it, no more. And uh, they come out rigid enough. That's all you want. Now this side here, I make it eighth inch short. And uh, that's all you want. You just go right in here with your second layer. We don't 
put no pill play on, on this. This is a wet layup. So, uh, you want to keep your resin about as thin as you can get it. Oh, Mr. Joe Grice, man, I got your duck done and I got your them, uh, big aluminum things done that go in the gear. But I've got to go to the yard store today as soon as I get these laid up. This is what I'm going to do. i got to go to the yard store and pick up some aluminum to make the brackets that hold the... Actuators. I thought I had some more of that stuff and tore this shop up. Been wasted too much time looking for it. Don't go get it and get out. I asked old Dave. Dave's gonna be in town all weekend. I asked him what he wanted to do. He said he didn't care. I said, You wanna go flying? He said, That sounds fantastic. But it's uh, supposed to be kind of windy tomorrow. Well, they said we don't, we're just going to kind of wait and see what happens. Weather said 10 to 20. Well, that ain't too bad. 10, I'm flying 10 to 20 all the time. But then they said with 35 mile an hour gusts. <laughs> so that could be the bad part of the equation. Okay. Bam, that's done. This is my exact fit technology to make a seamless follow blaster coat.
Guys, I'm gonna get that bolted together. I'm gonna lay it the other part. And then I'll see if I can't get something done today. Might make another video when old Dave shows up. Till then, we'll see you back in the shop. St. Bob time. St. Bob Station. This episode of Bob TV was broadcasted in Philovision.